Hello, Tan. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. So how have things been for you lately? Uh, things have been going good. Just, you know, school, work. That's about it. That's good. So um, I'm glad that we had this chance to do this follow-up on what we were talking about last time about um, exercise. Well, how about you explain to me? What is, what is it that you uh, are hoping to, to get out of this or what change are you hoping to make? Well, like how we talked about last time, I was trying to, you know, improve my work at habits so that way I go to the gym more often, try to eat healthier so that way I can kind of, you know, have more energy in the day and have, I guess, just a healthier lifestyle so I can live longer and live better. Right, so you feel like, so you feel like working out gives you that, that energy that you need and you actually feel better once you, or after a, a workout? Like when I work out, I just feel like it gives me more energy for the rest of the day that I will be more productive because since I started at a productive level, generally that will carry over to the other parts of my day. So it's just something I enjoy. That's really good. How, how often um, do, you, do you try to work out during the week? Well, I try to work out like at least every other day. And since last week, I've actually started to, you know, reach that goal. So, like, I went yesterday, I went today, and then I went last, went on Saturday, and then I think Thursday. So, just about the last five or six days, I'm finally starting to get to the goal that I'm trying to hit. That's, that's really great that you that you're really dedicating yourself, and you and you find yourself reaching these goals that you have established for yourself. So, I guess what what keeps you from from keeping strictly to that schedule that you established? Generally, since I try to go in the morning, if I wake up, it's just I'm too tired or I went to bed late, so I just don't have the energy or like I just hit my snooze button. So it's just, that's generally the big issue is just not getting up and going or just feeling like I don't have the energy, so just kind of laziness. Mm -hmm. So, you feel that I, I guess it's good that you're recognizing what it is that's impeding you so you feel that the you know the desire to sleep in um, a lot of times other things like school work and your actual job are sort of getting in the way of kind of following that that workout schedule that you've made yeah that's right I guess just the other things in life try to kind of get in the way because if I procrastinate my homework and I usually stay up late doing that or I have to wake up early so then I miss out on that opportunity to go to the gym. Definitely. So, um, I'm glad that you've been able to, to come in and talk a little bit about this. If I, if I understand right, you're looking to um, you know, improve your health, um, boost that energy that you have throughout the day, and this comes through these um, exercising every other day, is that right, during the week? Um, some reasons that prevent you from doing this are um, sort of other encumbrances throughout the day, such as work and schoolwork, homework, as well as you know sleeping in. And so uh, I'm really glad that you've been able to come in, and I hope throughout our um, discussions we'll be able to hopefully come up with ways that that you can I don't know, more more fully congruent to that um, uh, establish. Uh, routine that you that you've made for yourself, so you can feel that way all the time. So, are you willing to to look into this with us and, and see if we can establish this? Uh, yeah, it's pattern for you. Of course, that'd be great. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of progress right. here today. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Morgan. How have you been? I've been good. How are you doing? That's great. So, how have you been doing with your nail biting? Um, it's been, it's been okay. Um, I've been, I've been trying really hard to you know, sort of recognize when I'm doing it, but then a lot of times I just find myself, you know, just catch myself biting my nails out of nowhere, and it's pretty frustrating when, when that happens to me. Yes. And when do you notice that you're biting your nails? Usually, like, at what certain activities are you doing when you catch yourself biting your nails? I think most of the time, um, I guess there's a couple times when it happens. Normally, when if I'm bored, if there's really not a lot going on, it's kind of a way to, you know, maybe distract myself from that. Um, if I'm really nervous, 
and there's something really important about to happen, I find myself um, biting my nails, and um, probably those are the two biggest ones, when there's not a lot going on, and, and when I find myself pretty anxious about something. So you tend to notice that you bite your nails more when you're anxious or bored? Yes, definitely. And what do you think well, causes, I guess, that reflex of the biting the nails when you're anxious or bored? I don't, I'm not totally sure. I guess that's what I'd like to kind of find out while I'm here. Maybe if I could find out why it's this rather than something else, maybe it would be easier to kind of get rid of it. But I guess it's just, I don't know, it's kind of just something that kind of takes my mind off whatever is going. There's other things I could do, but I guess this is the thing I kind of go to first. And what, do you notice yourself doing any other things when you are anxious or bored? Do you tend to, I don't know, do anything else, or is that just the only thing that you do? Um, I, I guess when, when, I'm, when I'm anxious, I tend to get a little jittery with my hand. I tend to like grab things or have to kind of play with like a pencil or things like that. So maybe that could have something to do with, you know, biting my nails. It's, I mean, using my hands, doing something. Maybe that's... So you tend to get kind of just fidgety, or I guess you tend to move a lot when you're nervous or bored, and you think that might just be what... Like when you're moving your hand, just kind of catch yourself biting yeah. your nails. They're kind of fidgety, and they just kind of find their way to my mouth. I guess it's a pretty gross habit, I and mean, that's one reason I'd like to to stop. It's you know a pretty gross habit. You know who knows what's under your nails, and you have like little pieces of nails lying around, and it's pretty yeah, it's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the so what have you been doing? Earlier you mentioned that you've been. I guess trying to stop biting your nails and trying and doing a few other things instead. So what have you been doing to try to, I guess, stop this habit or trying to make that change? Uh, it doesn't work all the time, but when I when I notice that I'm pretty bored or pretty nervous about something, since I'm trying to remember that, that's what normally happens. I try to you know recognize it and and stop doing that. I might put my hands under my legs, or I might you know pick up something and do that instead. So I've been trying pretty hard to 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 recognize those moments and not do it. Well, it's awesome that you know you're recognizing the instances when you do it, and that's amazing that you know you're putting forth that effort to make that change because you have you know the desire to change. So, what do you think is the biggest thing? Or what's something you can do to I guess? Or what's something that you have done that has helped you thus far in slowly changing that habit? Um, I guess. You know, since I can't always avoid those anxious feelings, that boredom, I've just been trying to do something else rather than, rather than like eliminate the boredom or the anxiousness, which probably wouldn't happen. Yeah. I'm just eliminating what I do in response to that. So I try to pick things up, maybe I'll play on my phone a little bit or do other things to, to distract me from that. It's not all the time, but I'm definitely trying. So. so what I've been able to understand from our, you know, our brief session today and last time is that when you get bored or nervous, you kind of get fidgety or you kind of, you know, get anxious. So you start to move around and starting to bite your nails. And you'd like to change this habit because you think it's gross or you just don't think it's very sanitary always chewing your nails because, yeah. you know, it's the last thing you touch and wash your hands. Yes. And you're trying to make those steps. You're trying to progress, but it's kind of difficult since it's like it's your go-to reaction. Yeah. That's, that's definitely what's, what's going on for sure. Okay, well, I think that, you know, as we keep talking and recognize the instances when you're biting your nails, at what time it's occurring, as in, and as you make that, you know, cognitive or that mental decision to stop it and recognize it before it happens, I think you'll continue to notice that you'll see improvements. The change doesn't happen overnight, it takes a little while, but I know that you can do this. And I see your desire. Thanks, and I appreciate it. And I feel that as we continue to meet, that you'll be able to change this habit that you're trying to change. Definitely, I'll try. I'm really grateful for your for your help. I really appreciate it. Okay, well, good luck on your your next weekend. See you Great. next Tuesday. Thank you very much, sir. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you.